All right, welcome. We're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to apply our organic aloe vera with the biodegradable glitter. Um, this is all about quick, fast application, but also there's a bit of a process to it, which we've figured out over the last few years since we've been using the product as a way to make it easier and more effective, long lasting, and of course, more enjoyable. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so I'm just going to read through our product um, care card the instructions for the best results so before be sure to apply me on onto your skin or hair with clean fingers or a clean makeup brush or in our case a clean face painting brush apply me as thick or as thin as you like over your face hair or body or body or hair <laughs> in fun shapes like zigzags crescents dots stars and hearts or striking straight lines have fun and get creative all right so that's just a real basic guide so the first tip, to spread me thin and all over your limbs or hair, simply add more organic aloe vera gel to the glitter, making a more spacious consistency. So I'll show you that as well. When applying me to your face, just be sure to keep me away from your eyes, obviously. I will stick to you all day long. Just give me some time to dry first. So this is important, especially for the younger kids. They tend to touch their face paint design or their design on their face quite quickly because they're just curious so it's important to communicate that with the kids that you're painting make sure you let it dry first okay so don't say don't touch it because they're naturally going to want to touch it so what you want to do is say make sure you wait for it to dry before you touch it all right this is going to give them more of a positive phrase that they can hear and act on all right so during Try not to scratch me off as I may irritate your skin. So visualize this as more of a thing about uh, like when you rip a band-aid off your skin if it's been on for a while or physio tape if you've had physio tape on your body before. It can leave a bit of a red mark, slightly irritated. Okay, so we make sure people know that so they don't freak out if it does happen. It's completely normal. So just say don't scratch me off as it may irritate your skin or my skin. It's okay though, if you accidentally do, I won't irritate you for long. Simply apply some more aloe vera as it's great for soothing the skin, all right? And of course, afterwards, once you're ready to take me off your body or your face, instead of scratching or peeling, like I said, it will create more of a reaction. I like it best when you run me under warm to hot water, like in the shower. You can also lather me up with a bit of body wash, body wash or face cleanser and I will slide right off. This is really really important as opposed to parents sometimes using sometimes using baby wipes um, let's just stick to some nice organic um, or not necessarily organic you don't have to but some coconut oil olive oil face cleanser really smear it up get it smooth and get it moving on the skin again and then the wash off with the warm water will help as opposed to trying to drag it off once it's still quite stuck on the skin so the aloe vera will get gooey again once it is warm all right okay so another thing because the aloe vera is completely organic there are no preservatives in it which means we need to keep the aloe vera really clean in between each time you use it because i am preservative free i am sensitive and require some little extra love providing me providing we are stored in a dry dark cool environment out of direct sunlight away from the direct heat sources not exposed to any bacteria and use clean hands or application brushes when applying me to your skin or hair all right is the dip and mix deconstructed so the aloe vera and the glitter are separate this is the most long lasting way we can have our glitter so they can last up to about 12 months okay and so dip and mix deconstructed bio glitter in a dry form has an inf indefinite shelf life which is amazing it'll last forever however we would recommend you use the product within three years to ensure optimal condition and that's advised from actual biodegradable glitter where the supplier is right and that's that's their advice the premix squeezies I didn't talk about they're the things that we did used to use as a custom mix up product so we would mix the aloe and the bio glitter together um, and they will last two to three months after opening now of course it's a natural product things can get in bacteria air it all just start to break down no sooner they're being mixed together so we don't do that unless it's an absolute definite order and of course 
Um, if you don't use it, we waste quite a fair bit too. So we don't do that unless it's been requested. All right, so that's the premix squeezies. And the dip and mix deconstructed aloe vera can last up to 12 months. And the deconstructed bioglitter, which means the bioglitter is dry and on its own, will last forever if it's taken care of. All right, so that's a quick little tips list about how our products behave on the skin, the hair and the body, and how to best take care of the product so it lasts as long as possible. All right, so I'm gonna show you how each glitter goes onto the skin just by showing you onto my arms. I'm just gonna undo the aloe vera container. All right, so this is a pot of our 10, our 10 mil pot, organic aloe vera, literally aloe vera from the plant into a container. All right, so I'm just going to be using my three quarter flat, very basic brush. It's not even a face paint brush. I'm gonna say it's actually worked the best um, just over the last few years. And it keeps my paint, face paint brushes ready to be used as well separately. So process, dip the brush onto the aloe vera. So loading the brush, if we're gonna get technical, and then we dip the brush, let's go clear first, dip the brush into the pot, give it a gentle tap, and you'll see now it's loaded up onto the brush, like so. Now I'm just gonna go for a straight line, and you'll see that it's a bit clumpy in spots. So the whole idea is to actually blend and work it into the skin. Now this clear is not really much of anything, but it's something that works nicely on top of face painting, like I said, and to mix with our combination of chunky glitters. So I'm just going to show you what that looks like. So on its own, it doesn't really do all that much. I'm just trying to get the light to hit it nicely. Alright, I'm going to load up a tiny bit more. So the thing with the clear is if it gets too wet or like too thick from the aloe, it doesn't sparkle as much. So the consistency for the clear fine glitter needs to be more glitter than aloe vera. So now you can see while I add a few more layers and gently dabbing or patting, it starts to pick up the sparkle. Whereas before it was still a little bit pasty because it was more aloe vera than there was glitter. All right. So now it's starting to look nice and frosted. Great for the winter designs. Great for Elsa. Great for snow queen, snow princess. Anything where you need a little bit more light and glitz. All right. So dabbing is the one for the clear. Dabbing and more glitter than aloe vera. So I'm just going to rinse off this brush. Alright, and I'm back. So now let's do dip of aloe vera. Just load it up a little bit onto the brush. I'm going to dip straight into the fine dusted pinks. And again, you'll see the first part I do that I wipe onto the skin is a bit of a chunk gets dropped. Dropped onto the skin wherever you started. And so now the job is to spread it across the skin by directing the brush which is good. So if you get make a mistake, you can guide the glitter if you need to use it with the finger or the edge of the brush like so, which is why the bristles being firm is really handy on this brush. All right, so spreading all the way across. It's really pretty actually, I like this one. So this is something that you can put on top of face paint designs before the paint dries completely or you can have it on its own on the skin just as is like you can see me doing now and you can also see how many times I've gone back to the glitter but not to the aloe so you don't actually need that much aloe vera which is great news and then once you've got it in the spot that you want you're just dragging pressing and setting it in pretty easy all right washing the brush let's reapply dipping into the aloe Let's go into the fine dusted gold. So dip, tap it in the container so you don't waste any precious, beautiful bio glitter. All right, and then just, again, pressing down, dragging the glitter off the brush onto the skin. 
and then start working it. So that one looked a bit crumbly actually, so I'm going to put a bit more aloe vera. It's less, so basically what we're doing is we're mixing the aloe and the glitter via the brush on the skin. This prevents us from wasting anything. Right, so this little sparkly fine dusted gold has actually got some of the fine clear glitter in it too. Which is not super obvious, but that's our combination and we love using it. Alright, pretty cool. Sparkly, oh so sparkly, don't mind my hair in the shot. Okay, next up, let's wash the brush. I'm going to go into the chunky glitter side of town. I'm just going to move these guys out of the way. Let's come across to something that contrasts. Let's go into the, uh, the blues. So I've got the aloe vera. I'm going to dip into the container, pick up some glitter. All right, and now I'm just going to wipe it across. Again, you'll see that the glitter is in on a chunk and the aloe vera goes across the skin. So that's kind of where we're mapping it out. Flip the brush, drag and press and you can start to work it. So you can do this on any part of the body, but for now I'm just getting it on the skin to show you. And I notice the thick glitter is quite easy to spread as well. So you can go on a bigger surface area and work it out like that. All right, so just because you put it down on one line doesn't mean you're stuck with it. So like I said, you can press it in, almost like you've got the broom from the floor sweeping something across the floor right and you can also spread it back across i notice with the blue it does have a bit of a bleed with the aloe vera it does sort of smudge a little bit so just be mindful of that i'll get the light on there so that's what will mix in or bleed to the aloe vera but it's not a deal breaker it's only a little bit all right and that's your blues now of course we can load it up and go thicker and cover more area if that's the look you're going for if you're doing just a glitter gig i would recommend this being what you do so you can see i'm just double dipping a few times into the container and you can see it starts to get a bit flaky so if this happens that means that the aloe vera started to dry or you need more aloe so i do a rinse of the brush so that my aloe vera stays clean so rinse the brush clean brush again dip into the aloe and this is like a seal like a varnish you can go over the top of the glitter and it actually presses down what's been put on and it glues it on so the aloe vera goes like glue all right gorgeous let's rinse next color i hope you're enjoying this this is a bit of fun all right so dip let's go pinks the princess pink i love this color this combo again press on notice that it doesn't really go anywhere at the start you know give it some direction where you press the brush drag the brush spread it out all right so a little bit more aloe a little bit more glitter all right so you can do thin lines to thick lines you can navigate the direction and the style of the glitter with your brush as you put it on pretty cute i love it i hope you love it so far pretty snazzy let me just get the light on there. So much sparkle, right? So it picks up really nicely in the sunlight, in the evening light if you're inside at a venue. It's just pretty. All right, rinse. Let's go. Next one. So we've done the blues and the pinks. I'll get that out of the way. Get that out of the way. Let's come across now into the multicolor. So again, dipping into the aloe vera same process dipping into the rainbow or the unicorn colored pot is what we say with the younger kids you know the deal now drag it across move it where you want dip some more aloe dip some more glitter load it up layer it smudge it spread it make it more compact with more coverage knowing the more aloe vera the more gluey and more slimy it'll be the more glitter the more coverage Make sure you can still see. All right. Great. Lucky last one. Chunky gold. Make sure you can still see. Yep, yeah, great. So 
So I'll give the brush a rinse again, dab into the aloe, dab into the gold, and on we go. Again, you'll see it sort of peel off the edge of the brush, but the aloe vera will still be there. So you see there's a bit of a sheen, a sheen or a slimy kind of look. You can spread it out. It's almost like a dry brush effect if you've done any studio art painting before. That's my background. I started doing painting in studio art at high school when I was back in school. I went to Clon Art in Geelong. I loved it. I learnt lots of dry brush techniques and I actually came into face painting and body painting through children's entertainment after I finished school. So my school studio art training sort of blended into my own style for this sort of work. All right, you've got the idea, pretty cool. You see you kind of just press around, drag it in, change the shape if you need, actually scratch it off with the edge of the brush. That only works if you have a firm bristled brush. If you have a really soft floppy brush, that won't work. All right, so let's bring the light on, on over here. So you've got a few examples of the glitter that we get on the body. And you can do this, just a streak of glitter, you can go thin, you can go thick, and you can make that a bangle on the outside of the arm, so not the inside, I'm just showing the inside for the video, but you can do the outside of the arm for the kids, so across here, for example, but you don't have to go the full way around, obviously, because if you do, it's going to brush off on their clothes and mark their clothes. All right, it'll come off eventually, which is fine, but what's the point? So let's just put it on the outside edge of the arm, where... It can be seen, it can be enjoyed without being rubbed off and bumped against. All right, so there are the glitters. Let's go into some face designs. All right, so this is just a few different combinations of the glitter that you may have in your kit. Um, we do mix it up from time to time, so you may not have all of the things that you see here. So let's go through one at a time. So we've got the clear, really, really thin, fine bio glitter, which is great to put on face painting. And of course the other fine glitters that we've got at the moment is the gold, which is also great to put on top of face painting as well, and the red, pink, magenta type colour as well. So the fine, dusty type glitter is best for face painting, like I just said. And then moving over to our chunky glitter, which also has a combination of the smaller glitter as well. So we've got our own special um, favourite combinations of glitter mixed together. So this is our pink princess. It's got a mix of magenta, golds, clear pinks little bits of um little bits of silver just but mostly golds all right so this is one of my favorites actually i'm going to open the lid all right see how sparkly it is gorgeous so we use these combos more so with the aloe vera and not directly onto face painting as especially if the face painting is still drying if the paint on the skin is wet and we're putting aloe vera with glitter on it, it just smudges and it looks terrible. So there's an absolute definite skill about getting that onto the paint. All right, so the other combination is just the golds. We've got a few little teal speckles through there. We've got some clear, some gold, thick, chunky, and some tiny dusted gold as well. So that's a different combination. And we've got our Elsa blue or our mermaid blue depending on who we talk to we'll change the name of it um, the younger kids are normally you know Elsa's number one favorite and then mermaids is a good one for the older kids too all right so that's got a mix of silvers blues and teals different sizes again better for aloe vera and not on face painting and this is our most recent multicolor. so it's got every color that we have got in our stock so we've got about Oh, I think maybe 12 colors in here, different sizes. So blues, magentas, reds, greens, teals, golds, clears, silvers, different sizes. Okay, so this is a real popular one. And if you do have to work quick at a gig, I recommend just having this one out so the kids don't get confused on making a decision. We can cut that decision making time in half by just not giving them choice. All right, so just say, would you like some glitter? Yes. No? Done. All right. I'll just open the lid for this one. So pretty. I'm going to see if I can get it into focus. Come on, focus. Go back down a bit. Anyway, you got the idea. It's very pretty. All right, let's get these application demonstrations going. 
All right, we are back. I'm going to do some quick glitter and aloe vera, by glitter aloe vera uh, face application tutorials here. So I've got my beautiful gooey sticky organic aloe, nice and clean of course, and my clean brush, just a three quarter flat brush. The smaller the brush, obviously, the smaller the design, the smaller the design, however, uh, for these designs, I think a quick, thick streak of glitter is really effective, really efficient, and lots of fun, and everyone's happy. Alright, so no complaints so far. So, dipping brush into the aloe, get a nice gooey amount loaded up onto the brush. From there, let's do our chunky pink princess. I was just showing before on my arm in the previous video, so I'm just going to dip the brush that's got the aloe onto it. All right, so dip it so the aloe vera sticks the glitter on the brush. Gentle tap. And then let's go on to loading. So I'm gonna do the crescent. I'm actually watching myself through the camera on the video, so it's funny watching the delay. So I use the thin blade edge of the brush to make the shape. The glitter will go on most of the way. If it doesn't, that's okay. Still make the mark. Flip the brush, get that glitter on as much as you can, shape it in. Like I said, I can't actually see myself do this in real time. So weird. Alright, so if you have to be really quick, you could almost call that done. But let's load up a bit more and thicken it up. Alright, so I have a bit of brush, uh, sorry, a bit of glitter on my brush. I'm going to give that a quick rinse to keep my aloe vera clean. Dipping back into the aloe and then dipping back into the glitter. Bit of a gentle tap. I'm going to stand up for this bit. It's going to make me feel a bit better, I think. Get closer to you guys. Right, I just load it up by sweeping or swiping or dragging the glitter from the brush onto the skin and then you can work it wherever you want all right it's pretty well covered I like the fact that it can be thin on the edge voila all right pretty done let's move on some other designs that you can do. I'll see if I can cover my whole face full of glitter. Let's do the tiara or the rainbow shape, which I will just chuck my hair out of the way. Get my hair out of the way. There you are. Sorry, I wasn't looking at you then. I was looking at the reflection. All right, so aloe vera dip again. All right, clean brush, of course. Let's do a different one. Let's do the blues. All right, so dipping the aloe into the blue glitter, the rainbow arch across the forehead. So I like to go for those two receding hairline moments and everyone, everyone's got that hairline there. So kind of aim for just the inside of that, drag it down, feel the aloe vera, leave a mark, and then go up to the other side. Down, drag, and then start to work the brush and the aloe to where you want it to go. So knowing that you've got a nice three-quarter brush, you get solid coverage. And then obviously you can see it's not very even yet, so this is when I go to rinse my brush, give it a wipe on the towel, dip back into the aloe vera, dip back onto the glitter, tap, 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 no wastage. And then just reload where you've been working. Like I said, this is really weird. I can't actually see myself in the exact moment. <laughs> I'm like watching a delayed version of me. Super weird. I might actually have to get the mirror out for the next bit. So I can work a bit quicker. Got the idea? So you can see that aloe vera has stuck the glitter on. I'm just going to move that down a little bit more. Super workable. I made that a bit uneven. Let me just press that out. 
so easy to clean up. I just knocked my glitter over. <laughs> I just knocked my gold glitter over. Shall I show you? I'll show you. I'm sad. Super sad. Oh my god. I'm so sad. Hang on. Very sad moment. Very sad moment. Alright, let's get back to it. Lesson learnt. Be careful. Damn. That's happened before. At a gig. Very sad moment. Alright, I'll try and clean that up later. Let's keep it going. Alright, so you've got the idea. Let's reapply a little bit more blue to make sure it's all even. See how I just moved that line to make it a bit more balanced? That's what I love about it. You can move it. Nothing's permanent. That's a pretty cool insight. Alright, a little bit more glitter. Every time I look down I see the spilt gold glitter. <laughs> oh well. Okay, it's an opportunity for me to process frustration and sadness all at the same time. Welcome them in. Welcome the feelings in. Alright, so now it's starting to get a bit flaky because the aloe vera has dried. Or has been drying up. So, what I would do is just dab the aloe one more time. And lock it all in. It's like the top, top coat, like a varnish coat. Like the glue. All right, voila. So you can do your little tiara crown, upside down crown for the face. And of course you can do the flip side of that and do it like a rainbow. So from the point of the eyebrow roughly to the other edge point of the eyebrow, which is where I would do the rainbow. For now, let's go and do a heart and then we'll do a lightning bolt. And then I think that's enough for now. Let's do a heart. Let's do a heart with the spilt gold. Right, so clean brush, aloe vera, dip dip. Remember to breathe. Dip into what's left of my gold glitter. What a sad moment. Anyway, getting over it. <laughs> what's left, dip dip. I said I was gonna do a love heart, didn't I? So let's go here. Cheekbone, press, drag, twist. Other side, press, drag, twist. And now we just work the glitter down to where the aloe vera has been wiped. Good news is a three quarter brush is roughly a great size for a love heart on everyone's face from child to adult. Just work it in. Be careful not to make the, de the design bigger and bigger and bigger. That's when things can get out of hand. You know that time when you put eyeliner on and you think, oh god, I made a mistake. You even it up on the other side. It gets bigger and thicker and next thing you know, your eyeliner is your eyebrow. <laughs> I'm exaggerating. But you know what I mean. Keep it small and then you've got some room to move. Right. Pretty cute. I can't focus that far on the side. It's actually made me dizzy. <laughs> and I'm just gonna layer up a little bit more. And then dip one more time onto the aloe. Lock it all in. Pretty. All right. Now I need to do a lightning bolt. So for the sake of doing it all on my face, I'm going to do a lightning bolt. I'm just gonna mark it with the aloe here. Here and here. Now let's do. I've got gold, blue, pink. Let's do the multicolor. Again, clean brush, aloe vera dip dip, glitter dip, tap. Now I'll be using the thin blade edge of the brush to make sure it's not too thick. So work it down, work it across. Work it down. Again in English, work it down, 
poke it across and work it down. That got too thick. Good news. You can flick, wipe and tidy up. Alright, so you got the idea. You can work the glitter, move it around. I love doing it this way because it helps keep the aloe vera clean, helps prevent wasting, pre-mixing the glitter and the aloe together, because it actually goes a long way. Yeah, very, very quick. I wouldn't usually place a lightning bolt on this angle. I would normally put it up where my crescent is, so I'd be going here, here, and here. But I'm just demonstrating as much as I can in one shot on this video. Okay, so lightning bolt. Crescent. The crescent can be thicker as a crown. You can have a love heart. Let's think. What else could I do? I'm trying to remember back to our other designs. You can do a cute little nose and triangles near the ears. Um, some special strange requests you might get from kids who really want their face painted, but you've only got glitter. So you can try and work that in. However, it's a bit of a time killer. So don't worry about it. You can just say, let's choose something more simple. Yeah something more thick and easily applied in a short amount of time. There are go-to designs. Love hearts, stripes, lightning bolts. Cool. If I think of anything else, I'll jump back on. Good luck. Totally just remembered, I'm back here. If you have dads or men or boys, you can do eyebrows and moustaches. Moustache and a beard. So facial hair or no facial hair, you can layer up on the hair that you can see. Now with big, fluffy, not so groomed beards, you need to cake on the aloe vera so that the glitter can stick to it within all the wispy, curly hair. However, if it's just like stubble, that's also quite tricky because it flicks off like razor blades. So you need to apply generously, thick aloe, thick glitter. Um, but let's, I'll just, I'm just going to put the eyebrows on mine and I'll give you a, just a moustache and a little beard oh my gosh I'll be full of glitter let's do it so let's do the what haven't I got on I've got all the thick chunky so let's do a thin glitter again just to mix things up I'm dipping aloe vera clean brush of course let's do the thin glitter I'm gonna do the moustache which is quite funny Okay, so with the boys who've actually got a bead, you press down, pat down, 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 <laughs> pat down, 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 down. Kids who don't have beads yet, boys who don't have beads yet, do what I'm doing right now. Right, you can make it really neat if you wanted. I'd actually prefer you to make it neat. <laughs> and then you can laugh and make a bit of a dad joke, is what I do here. Don't worry if you eat a little bit, it's biodegradable, non-toxic, it's not food grade, but the worst thing that could happen is maybe your fart sparkles. Ha ha ha, right? So we're not saying to eat the glitter, I'm just saying that if a bit drops in your mouth you're going to be okay. Alright, dip a little bit more. Thicken it up. <laughs> there you go, got handlebars. Do I look good? Ridiculous, but you got the idea. All right, let's do another one. Let's do pink eyebrows, shall we? Sure. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, aloe vera, clean brush, dip into the pink. I'm going to close one eye so I don't get it in my eyebrow. Tell the kids to do that too, please. Close your eyes, please, so I don't drop any glitter in your eye because you will drop some off the skin. That's normal. Follow the line of the eyebrow. Layer it up. Actually looks kind of cool. I'd probably do this at a kids party next time. And if you want to be super fussy, you can then clean up the edges of the eyebrow and make it look really neat. Nice, even coverage. 
right. You can see a little bit has dropped onto my eyelids. Don't hate it. All right, let's do on the eyebrow. If anyone has a special request for what eyebrow needs to be painted, what color did I hear? Gold? Sure, let's do it. All right, I'm um, closed. Aloe vera has been dipped, dipped into the pot of glitter. I just felt a big bit drop onto my eyelash. If that happens to anyone, just say, be careful, close your eyes. I'm going to tickle your eyebrush, eyelashes and just gently flick it off. It'll come out super easy. It actually feels very ticklish when you feel the glitter, when I feel the glitter dropping off the brush, off the area that I'm painting like that. It feels quite really very ticklish. So be aware of that with the kids. And just let them know. It's normal. It's okay. I can get it off. Just sit tight. Take a breath. And it's painted. I've got a very thick eye eyebrow on this side. Alright, and if I want to be really, really, really super fussy, if you have time at gigs, you can layer that up. Cover the eyebrow hair completely. Alright. I got a bit of glitter on my nose. All right, so <laughs> love heart. That actually looks kind of cool. <sighs> Hang on, photo time. All right, eyebrows, mustache, love hearts, crowns, crescents, moon crescents, lightning bolts. All right. What I don't want you to do is put any glitter on the eyelid near the eyes. Yes, it's like the softest glitter ever created, that's fine. But we don't want to go near the eyes because it can still irritate if it goes in. So I actually have quite a little bit of glitter near my eye line and around my eyelashes. I feel okay, but I can definitely feel it very close. So please don't go anywhere near the eyes. Just do a little eyelash flick for them, gently with your fingertips to brush off any excess glitter and that will make them feel much better. All right, cool. If I think of anything else, I'll add it in. Have fun, good luck. Let's just do the rainbow from eyebrow to eyebrow, opposite to the crown, just to show that I've done it. I know we spoke about it, but I know you'll understand more if you see it. So I'm gonna do a different color than the blue so you can see the contrast. What are we gonna do? Not the pink, not the gold, not the blue. Not the pink, not the gold, not the blue. What does that leave us with? Multicolor. All right. Don't mind me just talking to myself. Dipping the aloe vera onto the brush, or dipping the brush into the aloe vera and dipping into the glitter. All right. Dragging down, creating the shape. This will be a very popular, nice, quick one. The kids are like, can I have a rainbow? With rainbow glitter, it's usually a very obvious request. And if you're not painting just rainbows and stripes off the arm and rainbows on the head, great. Don't have to be too creative and too adventurous with how you put the glitter on. Usually once one or two kids see one, they want to have the same thing. They'll end up copying each other. Oh, a little bit of glitter just dropped down. This happens. This works best if their eyes are closed. Right. So. <laughs> Gotta close the right eye, Jack. I'm just layering up, putting more aloe and more glitter. Over. Over. the eyebrows. Cool. So you can make the rainbow thicker 
and more sharp, more curvy, or you can make it more long and wide. Um, you can also do a rainbow arc on the cheeks if someone has a fringe. Okay, so I could do that there, real small arch on both sides. Yep. And for the sake of showing you, like I said before, little nose, do a little pink nose. Dip, dip, press down. This would be cute for a clown. This would be cute for a little bunny or a dog or a cat. Wrap it around. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to take all this off. <laughs> Not sarcastic, a little bit silly, a little bit cheeky. I might actually film this and wash it all off. It's a process. Easy, but it's a process. Alright, so little glittery nose, and then you can do your stripes one, two, and one, two. I would recommend using a thin brush, a much more thin brush, maybe like a number four. Number four, clean brush, aloe vera, and I'm going to use the fine pink for the whiskers because it'll be much easier to get on the skin without making a huge mess. So if you can do this quickly, you can definitely have this in your quick glitter design tool kit or tool belt. All right. Obviously, you won't be able to load as much aloe or glitter because it's a smaller brush. Other side, a bit more aloe, a bit more glitter. Pressing, dragging. You'll see if it doesn't work, you need either more, more aloe, less aloe, more glitter, less glitter. And the type of brush that you're using, so this brush is quite thin, so I probably can't really work the whiskers as much as I could with that thicker, more hard bristled three quarter brush. But <laughs> it's pretty cute. I've got the idea. So if you pretend all of that's gone, <laughs> my moustache, just the whiskers and the nose is pretty cute. Anyway, I'm full. Completely chockers. Plenty to choose from. Princess, rainbow, eyebrows, love heart, nose and whiskers, moustache, lightning bolt, crescent. You can do crescents on both sides. You can do crescent, crescent, crescent. Up to you. Depends on how much time you've got and what your booking is. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and keep in touch. I'd love to see your work. Please post, tag and share it. And of course, if you need to purchase more glitter, Get in touch with us, Jack of All Trades AU, Jack of All Trades Master of Fun. We can hook you up, of course, with some aloe vera as well. All right, talk to you soon. Bye. All right, so I was just remembering before I was packing up and I realized that I didn't talk about other parts of the body you can put glitter on. So just real quick, if the kids have got an open shirt, it's a hot summer's day, they've got their bikinis on, whatever's going on, you've got the opportunity to play with the chest line, the shoulders, the arms, and the legs. Okay, so you can do all of these types of shapes on the rest of the body. Now, you could do an upside down rainbow, so like crescent moon to make it look like a necklace. You can do a circle like the nose in the center and then two lines around the side. You don't have to go around the back, just along the side. The boys like their lightning bolts, like I'd had the demo arm stripes here. You can do them straight across on the outside of the forearm or the outside of the top of the arm here. You can also do your lightning bolts along the top of the arm. You can do one really big one, you can do two small ones, okay? Um, yeah, so just know that you can do any of these shapes on the arms, on the legs, on their back, on their chest. Just depends on what the age group is, what type of party it is, what type of booking it is, and how much time you have per face to allocate so everyone gets a turn. All right, so remember, not just for the face, you can put it on the arms and the legs as well, and the chest and the back. Sometimes kids like it on their knees too. You can do little love hearts on the knees, the tops of the knees. Yeah, so you can get creative. Doesn't have to be too crazy, but yeah, there's different parts of the body. Make sure you use them, okay? Bye.